Hi, it's Pavel, and uh, today I'm doing a C++ homework called Pennies for a Day. We are going to write a program that calculates how much a person would earn over a period of time if the salary is one penny the first day, two pennies the second day, and continues to double each day. So from this, you already know, we'll need to use a loop. Uh, the program should ask the user for the number of days and then display a table showing how much the salary would uh, How much the salary was for each day and Then show the total pay at the end of the period Now the output should be displayed in a dollar amount not the number of pennies So we'll have to convert the pennies to uh, dollar amounts All right, um, that's a fairly straightforward assignment uh, we need the number of days variable, of course, number of days, and uh, Alice, we need at least one, uh, so initial value will be one, and uh, actually not integer, but uh, now let's make it double, it could be a float, but for money, I'll use double equals, and it's a float. And uh, so I initialize the variables. And uh, now let's ask the user see out uh, for the for the input for the number of days. Enter number of days. And let's put a new line in there. And uh, let's do assign the uh, whatever the number user enters. We'll assign it to our number of days variable okay so user enters number of days we'll catch it in our variable and now we can you we can uh, do the loop so while our number uh, of days is uh, nah you know what yeah let's do that if the number of days is less than one, in other words, if user enters zero or less, that's an invalid input. So yeah, we can we can just make sure that the user enters the correct uh, value. This is not required by the assignment itself, but uh, I've, you know, it's a good input check at least something. It's not a certainly it's not a okay bulletproof. <laughs> All we do is make sure that the number is positive and it's one or greater. So uh, if the user enters invalid input, if the number is less than one, then we will see out, please enter a valid number of, day, of days. Okay, and uh, not M, just N. And the user will enter it number of days. Now if, if he enters the correct number, the valid input right here, this is never true, so the whole loop is skipped. This is only looping. If he enters the wrong number, it goes to the loop, asks to enter another number, he enters the number, and then it checks it again. If it's correct, it skips everything else and it goes uh, to the next line of code. If it's still wrong, again, it will uh, uh, display the message and ask for the input again and it will loop until the number of days is uh, at least one all right so that's just a very quick input check and now let's do the actual loop so uh, i equals one because we have at least one uh, and uh, i is less or equal to number of days that's the input from the user and of course we need to increase i with each uh, iteration of the loop and uh, over here we can simply display the output so c out uh, let's make it into like a day and uh, what day is this this is gonna be day i so it's gonna be the first one. It's gonna be day one. Then it's gonna be day two, and so forth. Then uh, you earned, and here how much you earned. 
and you earned uh, you earned money. Money is the variable. But it, and it's initialized to one because it's the one penny. You start with one penny a day. So the first iteration uh, and you earn pennies and a new line for the next uh, iteration of the loop and next calculation. So we initialize it to one. This is a one penny. And so if it comes here for the first time, i equals one, so it will say day i equals one. So day one, you earned money. Money is initialized to one, you earned one penny. Comes to two, there will be day two, you earned two pennies. But uh, of course, in order for us to actually, I <laughs> without, we're not, right now, this is not doing any calculation, it's simply displaying the output, it will be the same the whole time. We need to add, uh, we have to double the uh, the money each day. So we, it's times equals two. So when, next time it goes into the loop, money will equals one times two. So it's going to be two. Then it will equals two times two. It will be four. Four times two. It's going to be eight and so forth. So this is the actual calculation, and that's the only calculation we need. Uh, let me test it quickly. That should actually work. Building. Anyway, beautiful day we're having while this is building. No, actually, not really. It's raining outside. It's day before Halloween. And uh, yeah. Finally, enter a number of days. So let's enter 10. And here you go. Day one, you earn one penny. Day two, you earn two pennies. Then you earn four pennies, eight pennies, 16, and so forth. So it's working actually. Uh, what we forgot though, you're supposed, we're supposed to output, uh, the output should be displayed in dollar amount, not the number of pennies. All right, so what do we do? This, right now we're displaying pennies. So we need to divide by 100. Money divided by 100 will equal how much, how many, how much it is in dollars. And uh, well, I already clicked to build it, but uh, I want to change uh, the output a little. But let me test it quickly again. For some reason, it's super slow today. I don't have anything running in the background, but it takes forever to build. So let's try it again. So you equal 0 0.01 and over here 5.12 pennies. But it's not supposed to be pennies anymore, it's actually dollars. Dollars. Or we could just do this. You earned. And this is what you earned. Number of pennies divided by 100 gives you dollars. All right, so... Uh, the final output. Oh, not the final output. We still need to calculate the total. How much you earn totally. Uh, like I said, it takes forever. All right, so let's try again. Let's try 20. So first day you earn 0 0.01, in other words, 1 cent, 2 cents, 4 cents, and so forth. But hey, day 20, you already earned $5,240.88. So that wouldn't be too bad. But now we have to add all these together for our total. How much that's the assignment uh, asking for. Uh, and then show the total pay at the end of the period. So uh, we need another variable. And what a better name than total, right? And we'll initialize it to zero. And uh, what we can do is, uh, yeah, we can simply add total plus equals money divided by 100. Man, kind of, uh, uh, you know what, let's make it with variables. Uh, double day 
uh, pay. And this is, I'm gonna use, instead of money divided by 100 in the uh, output, I'm simply going to calculate it directly. So day pay equals money divided by 100. So our variable day pay will hold the calculation result and we will simply output day pay. And over here we will total, we will add the day pay to our total. So day pay. And at the very end, we need another C out call. C out uh, total earnings are dollar sign. And over here, it's going to be total. Just like that. And end of line. So over here, we'll calculate uh, the day pay, which is the number of pennies divided by 100, we'll display it in our output, we'll add it to our total with each iteration of the loop, it will, the total will be adding the day pay, and at the end we will display the total. So let's build it again, this one should be the final, because uh, I don't see anything else that we should be doing with this, according to the assignment. So, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, the weather. Still raining. All right. So uh, number of days. Let's do twenty again. And uh, here it is: the number of pe uh, zero point zero one dollars, so forth, five thousand two hundred and forty-two. And total, we earned in twenty days ten thousand four hundred and eighty-five and eighty cents. So there you have it. Very quick. Fairly simple, just one loop. This loop, like I said, we only simply, uh, this, this doesn't even have to be there, but uh, we simply check to make sure that the user enters a uh, number of days that is at least one. I mean, you cannot have zero days, there's no pay for that, or negative number. Uh, so it's just a simple input check. And over here you have the actual loop. Okay, so I hope it helped you, and I'll see you next time. Take care.